What survives in us is not the ability to burn a new way forward, but be soft and call on the honey that heals. See the man step, heel, ball, swivel and spin his woman until she slides down the front of his body and swivels back up? That's you too. That's you making honey in the burning. My name is Anthony Holmes. I'm one of the uh, torture survivors from Burge. I say he broke me because he did. The designs that the artists put together, it was nice because they touched all of us. And it shows some of the things that we, we, we thought about that happened to us, that took place with us. Like the black box, it, it touched me because it showed that that's what, that's what he put on me. The plastic bags went on my head. Each one of my artists put their all into it. And that's what makes it so good because they seen in you the things that you was trying to say that you couldn't say. So this is the way we want to be left. This is what we want people to see us. And this is how we can show them the inner us. The reparations campaign has actually been a love story, as Miriam Kaba likes to say, a love story to the Burridge torture survivors. We created these communities of care where the torture survivors can come and they can tell their truths and they are believed they are loved and they are revered for their perseverance. And that creates a healing quality and a healing space that nothing other tangible thing can really do. And that's been a profound result of the reparations campaign. One that most of us I don't think ever imagined and, and couldn't believe. Can you imagine, you know, you go through 33 years, like I went through 33 years, not able to tell my story. And when I do try to tell, they shut me down. And then find here comes somebody to believe what I'm saying. After all these years. Now people see what we went through. Now they understand why we're the way we is. And they won't look down on us, but they understand us more and they, they try to help us. And that's what it's all about. Because that's where the healing come in at. See, cause no matter how we try to heal ourselves, we can't. We need other people to help us heal through the things they do with us to show us they know what they understand. Can this memorial really heal some of the ills that have been done to us? Will it? tell our story, the memorial will be a sound place and we can make it ours, but I haven't got the medical, I haven't got no housing, everything I've been doing been on my own. My daughter, my only child, we still don't talk to this day yet. Me missing all the birthdays, graduation, those things that a father's supposed to be there for his daughter for. Now she's grown. She has three kids of her own when I come home. So, you know, what can I say to her? Our lives. How are our lives going to be put back together? A memorial now going to put our life back together. Last week, a famous church burned, a big one. The whole world watched and wept. They remembered none of the churches we remember, burning, always, never stopping. They brought us hour by hour coverage of its smolder. Its spire fell, its roof caved. The three hives of bees living up there survived. You survived. <laughs>